Okay, there's a couple. I think one shade's broken, but I think it's just cracked. So Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day wherever you are. In today's video, guys, I'm excited because I just came home from Sephora. The last time I was in Sephora was probably a year and a half ago, and I'm, I'm so excited because I got some new makeup products to unbox for you guys. Or unbag, because it's not unbox. It's it's in the bag. But you know what I mean. Anyway, I um, I spent some money. I've got everything on my phone that I purchased on my little Sephora app where it tells you what you recently purchased. So I've got that here because I want to tell you the prices for everything because a lot of the times I see people talk about makeup, how much it cost them, but it's always in US dollars. So I want to tell you what it costs here in Australia at our Sephora. So that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're new. Welcome to the family. And with that guys, let's get straight into it. All right guys, so like I said, I did just come back from Sephora. I'm so excited. It is a very, very wet and rainy day, so if you can hear the rain in the background or on the roof, I apologize. Now guys, this is not gonna be a very big unboxing because I've probably got, I think I've got about seven items in here. As we all know, everything can add up very quickly at Sephora, so I think I think it's spent over $350, and that's not me bragging, that's just telling you how much it cost me. And most items in this bag are brand new to me, except one item, I think. So hopefully I fall in love with all the products because it is quite expensive. So guys, let me just get the first item. It is a little moisturizer. Now I have um, tried this out before and I did run out of it. And recently I've actually been um, using a new moisturizer, but I think it's it's kind of breaking out my skin. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a lot of dry patches, a lot of dry patches along the jawline here where I shave and also on my nose, it's, it's actually peeling. So for the last couple of days, I haven't actually put any moisturizer on my face because I want to just kind of detoxify my skin from that. And I'm not going to use that moisturizer, but I am keeping that because I want to do a speed review on it in a month or two when I do another speed review video and tell you my thoughts on that product. And because of that reason, when I was at Sephora, I picked this up because I have tried it before and I know it works with my skin. So that item is the Wishful Honey Balm Gel Moisturizer from um, Huda Beauty. So this is um, the brand Wishful, which is a sister brand or the skincare brand of Huda Beauty. Now I previously got this in a Huda Beauty mystery box um, and I fell in love with this moisturizer. Now this moisturizer does retail for $66 Australian. It is in the 55 gram or 1.94 ounces. And it is the biggest size. I wish they kind of had a bigger size just because I would have purchased it. This is what the product looks like. I love the packaging. It is stunning. Really, really nice. I love the pink and the purpley vibe of it. And the actual product itself it is holographic. So. The label's holographic, but I'm gonna actually show you the moisturizer because that has a holographic tendency. Now, if you're not a big fan of um, heavily scented products, Huda Beauty is known for her heavily scented makeup and products. This um, moisturizer is quite heavily scented and I cannot open it for the life of me. Oh my goodness, why is it sealed so tight? It does, oh my God. Oh, there we go. It has a really strong scent of lavender. I love lavender. I've got actually lavender outside my house in my garden. I just love the scent of lavender. Um, but if you're not a huge fan of scented moisturizers or face creams or even makeup products, because I know her setting powders and foundations have quite a strong scent as well. At least they did in the past. I don't know if they do now. Okay. So it does look like this. So I'm not even showing it. It comes with a little thing. I actually don't keep this um, when I starting to use it, I take it off and just throw it because I hate having to take it off and put it back on, especially when you've got moisturizer on your fingers after putting it on your um, face. I, I kind of hate touching everything when I've got stuff on my fingers. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. But, uh, that is now. Um, but I actually wanna show you the moisturizer. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it does have like a purpley pink holographic nature to it. Like in person, I can see it, I don't know. I think you can see it with the camera now. It does have like a holographic shift to it, which is interesting when it's a moisturizer, but it doesn't actually show up on your skin. And it is quite thick, so I like a moisturizer that I can feel all day, especially working um, night shift and in the casino. The air that gets pumped in the casino and the air cons are constantly on, and it's really, really cold here because it is in the middle of winter here in Australia. So I love something that is kind of a barrier between all the elements that I have to work with and air con stuff. So anyway, I love this. This retails for $66. This will last me about three months. I'm going to start using this when I go back to work, which is 
tomorrow, I think. Yeah, tomorrow night. But I just wanted to detox my face. So you can probably see some dry patches on my face. I apologise, but it is just something I am working through as we speak. Anyway, that's the first item. And then, guys, we have... Oh, okay. We have this beautiful Benefit Crystal Blush. I don't know if I'm saying that. This is what it looks like. That's the name on the front. Now, this retailed for... $54 for a blush. One single blush, that's quite expensive. But it just shows you how much we have to pay in Australian dollars compared to US dollars or UK dollars or wherever you're watching this. Um, I'm gonna cut the seal. Now, I do have one Benefit blush, but um, that was in the face palette. I've recently decluttered that because that was two and a half years old, so I decluttered it. This is my only um, Benefit blush now. And I love a peachy blush, and as soon as I saw this shade, I really, really wanted it in my collection. Look how pretty that is. I'm not going to swatch it because I'm going to um, use this in an upcoming video. But it's just, it's the prettiest shade that I have seen in a blush for a long time. Um, and that's why I had to pick it up. The next item we have is, we have a liner. Now this is a Sephora um, liner. Now I picked this up because I love the colour of it. It's so pretty. It's metallic. Now this retailed for $18 Australian, which is very fair. That's what I would expect to pay for a drugstore liner um, at Chemist Warehouse or um, Priceline. I'm going to just get this plastic off quickly and then I'll come back and I'll swatch it for you. Alright guys, I am back and this is in the shade Peacock Blue. And I did swatch this in store. It is the prettiest little pencil. It is a pencil liner, so you do have to sharpen it. And I do have a sharpener, luckily. Oh, this is just the prettiest blue. I do have a blue similar to this, but that's quite old, and I was really excited to try this. I've never actually tried anything from the Sephora actual line from Sephora, so I wanted to pick this up and try it and see if it actually lasted my waterline. When I was in the store, I did swatch it. I actually swatched a couple of shades. Then I did get some of their makeup remover with the tissue and try to get it off, and I couldn't get it off. It took me about five minutes of scrubbing on the back of my hand with a micellar water to get it off. So I did put this in my basket to try because I do love a liner that lasts on my um, waterline because that's where I mainly use it. The next item we have is another Sephora little purchase. This is from the Sephora brand and this is a lip gloss. The prettiest lip gloss I'm trying to, I think it's in the shade Wild. God, the writing is tiny. Look at that iridescent pink purple lip gloss. You know I love um, lip glosses and you know I love the shade purple. Um, and I always use these types of lip glosses. So I wanted to try it for myself. Now the one in Sephora, you could test it, not on your lips, but on the back of your hand. But I have seen people put things on their lips in testers and I didn't want to put it on the back of my hand. I was like, no. So I don't actually know what the formula is like. So we are going to try it now. But before I forget, this was $22. My lips are very dry, but oh my God, that is stunning. This shade, Reminds me of my um, Makeup Revolution Shimmer Bomb one. Oh my god, look how pretty that is. I didn't really apply it the best, but we're going to zoom in. Don't, don't mind the texture on my face or the dry patches or the dryness on my lip. But I just wanted to zoom in to show you the high shine on that. That is stunning. Oh my god, I love that. I love the shade, I love the glitter. I love glitter um, glosses, they're my favourite. Let me zoom you back out. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I absolutely love that shade. I am definitely going to be using that in the next couple of days with the makeup look I have in mind. I'm actually really happy with the formula as well. It's not sticky. It's very comfortable. So that's nice. The next item we have, actually, the last two items I think we have. Okay, so there was only one, two, three, four, five, six. Six items, not seven. But the last two items were the most expensive items. So we have two eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to show you the first one, which is the Cosmo... Um, Anastasia Beverly, Anastasia Beverly, Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I couldn't speak then, sorry. This is what the Unicarton looks like. Very, very pretty packaging. Now, I haven't had the most luck with the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyeshadow palettes. I think I purchased two and I've decluttered them. But I did swatch this in store last week. And I also swatched the other um, palette last week as well. And because of those swatches, I had to get these palettes. I love foiled shimmer buttery like shimmers they're my favorite i didn't swatch the mattes because i never you can't really judge a matte um you can't really judge a eyeshadow palette on a matte swatch 
but shimmers you can in my opinion so i did um swatch the shimmers and i fell in love with it and this palette actually retailed for um 87 dollars australian so quite expensive i really hope it's not broken because i'd be really upset let's see it okay the packaging is stunning it is like a cardboard mat so i don't i don't know how clean i can keep the outside of it oh my god it feels so nice it does have a 12 months expiry date it is um vegan cruelty free and it is ice safe as well and let's look at it okay now the shades are broken which is great this is what it looks like it does come with a little sleeve so i'm going to take that off i'm not going to swatch anything in this video just because i want to save that for the actual um eyeshadow tutorial that i have planned with this but look at those shimmers stunning so in the store i swatched one two three and basically every shimmer but these three are the ones that sold it for me i love like a blue eyeshadow shimmer i love a pink um eyeshadow shimmer that pink shade here is super supernova the blue one is super cluster and then this one here i is quash quasha okay i don't know i don't know if i'm saying that right but i love that and then it does have this I actually thought this was a shimmer when it first launched, but it's actually a matte with glitter reflexes that have like light pink and gold and deep pink and some purple, I think, from what I can see. So that's an interesting shade. Now, for the last six months, I haven't actually purchased anything um, luxury, like eyeshadow palette-wise. I always watch makeup tutorials, and I try and swatch them when I can before I purchase them because I've had so many expensive eyeshadow palettes, like... Pat McGrath, which are $210, $12 here in Australian dollars, and they just didn't perform, I didn't like them. So I ended up throwing them away, and that's a lot of money. So now I actually watch a ton of reviews, and when this palette launched, I probably watched 100 makeup tutorials um, of people reviewing this palette. So I did watch a whole lot of my friends review this palette, Nicole, Ali Dorsa, and a lot of other YouTubers that I follow, and they had really good positive things to say about it. Um, my friend Nicole actually FaceTimed her, and we talked about it as well. Uh, because she purchased it and she has done a video so I will link Ali Dawson's video and I'll also link um, Nicole's video down below if you're interested to see how they found this palette but very excited about this palette and again $87 it's a little expensive but hopefully it works and then lastly guys we have a Natasha Denona palette and this is the Yucca palette now when this came out I fell in love with it I love greens and um, yellow toned eyeshadows so this palette was just something that I really really wanted to see in person before I purchased it because I have actually purchased a Natasha Denona palette in the past which was a Circo Loco palette and that palette was $210 I think from memory and um, I only got to use it once or twice and then I think I accidentally threw it in the bin um, I was doing an eyeshadow declutter video and I put all the palettes in the box and I think I mixed some of the palettes I was keeping like the Natasha Denona palette and then some of my other high-end palettes and threw them all away with the declutter palettes and I didn't realize that until like two or three months later when I went to look for that palette to do a makeup tutorial um, it was gone so I don't have that palette anymore I literally threw 200 <laughs> $10 plus palette away when I wanted to keep it. So I was very, very upset with myself. So currently this is the only Natasha Denona palette that I own. The packaging is so nice. Again, this is like a matte, I don't know, like a matte plastic, which is just another palette that's gonna get messy in my collection. I just, I know it, but it's stunning. And I do like that you can actually individually pop each of these shades out and replace them. I think you can buy individual shades to replace ones that you hit pan with. I think that's the idea of this palette. And on the back it does say it has a 24 month expiry date on it. It doesn't say if it's cruelty or vegan free. Is Natasha to know a cruelty or vegan free? It doesn't have it on the packaging at all. It doesn't have the little bunny or any of that stuff on it. I don't know. Anyway, this palette retails for $112 Australian. Let's see if all the shades are intact and not broken. I sometimes do open the palettes in store to make sure that I'm not buying something that's broken. Okay, there's a couple. I think one shade's broken, but I think it's just cracked so I can press it back in. Okay, one shade is broken, but I'm... It's this one in the corner here, which is the shade Plantasia. Plantasia? Plantasia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'll just put it up on the screen. 
but it is cracked. I can see it like on the top is cracked and it's going underneath. So I feel like if I actually um, put it up for you, it's gonna fall out. Um, but anyway, this is a really, really pretty palette. Stunning, it's got green, yellowy, like mustard tones and everything like that. So I'm very excited about it. It does have 15 shades for $112. It's quite expensive. It does have a very good like weight to it and does feel luxury and the packaging is stunning. Now when this palette came out, I watched a ton of reviews. I watched Ali Dawson review it, um, Teresa's Not Dead review it, Heather Austin and a whole lot of other YouTubers. Um, so I probably watched 50 plus makeup tutorials using this palette and a lot of those YouTubers actually do two or three looks in those videos. I was very, very happy with what I saw. That's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I, I was blown away by the swatches of the shimmers, so I'm, I'm really excited to play with this. I'm not going to swatch anything right now for you. I'm going to save it for my video. What is that in the mirror? There's something in the corner here on my mirror. Oh, it's a bit of broken eyeshadow. Okay, so yeah guys, that's the Aka palette from Natasha Denona. I'm just going to close it softly. And later I will press that shade back in and make sure that it's okay. I'm not going to like return this palette or anything like that because it is pretty good condition. It's just that one shade, but I think because it's a shimmer, I can press that back in. If it was a matte, I would um, maybe return the palette, but because it's a shimmer, I'm just going to press it in and it should be fine. And guys, that was um, everything that I got in Sephora. I'm actually really excited to play with everything. Everything is new except this little um, moisturizer. I'm just going to swatch this for you and hopefully it doesn't smudge. No, it's completely dry down completely dry down so look at that no transfer which i love so i'm very excited to try that and i'm really excited to play with the palettes this blush i'm going to be using with one probably this palette because i don't think this hot pink blush will go with this i look but yeah i'm excited to play with it and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and check out my tiktok and instagram because occasionally i do post on there and with that guys stay safe and i'll see you later on my love bye